What's up everyone, Zaz here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create this travel deals membership website on WordPress using Billflow and Stripe in just a matter of minutes to allow your users to sign up for a plan and get redirected to their membership portal where they can manage their subscriptions. Let's jump into it. Okay, so first things first, we want to install and activate the Billflow plugin, which I have already done. And from there, we want to go into our Billflow setting. Enter your Billflow secret key located on your Billflow dashboard. You can get that from over here. So if you have not signed up for Billflow yet, you want to do that first. It's free to sign up, so you can always create an account, connect to Stripe, and test it out for yourself. And you also want to make sure that you check this little checkbox down here, which allows WordPress to create a new user every time someone signs up with the Billflow embed. Now from there, we want to jump into Stripe and actually create our pricing model. So in Stripe, you want to add a product for each tier that you want to show. So as you can see, I have a basic and an exclusive. It's important that when you're setting up your tiers or your products in Stripe, that you give each product two separate metadata tags. So as you can see here, I have an SB underscore service tag called travel site and an SB underscore tier tag called basic. This is what's going to allow Billflow to understand how to organize your products on your pricing page. And as you can see, my SB underscore service tag is the same across the board, while your SB underscore tier tag can be different for each tier. In Billflow, you want to select pricing page, name it, and select the latest service you created, which in our case is travel site. That is where the SB underscore service name comes in. So we select that, we can see that there are two products and we can configure our page. We are going to go into pricing settings. I don't wanna, I don't have any product images or descriptions, but you can always add that into Stripe as well. I don't need to hide or disable anything and everything else is looking good. You could, you can also add a features list, but I won't be doing that for, for this pricing page. In checkout settings, I want to make sure that I enable the password field. That's how our users are going to be able to access their account. You can add custom fields if you wish. I want to require a card on sign up. If you have terms and conditions, you can toggle that on and write out your terms and conditions. And you also want to make sure that you select this redirect link toggle. And here we want to add that redirect URL. In my case, it's going to send my users to their travel site membership portal. Okay, now we're ready to embed. So in this last section, we are going to select save now. WordPress, copy the short code, go back into WordPress. And from here, we just want to add a short code block and paste the short code that we copied over. Apply that. Okay, awesome. So now we can see our pricing page works. Now what we wanna do is we want to go back into Billflow to create our customer portal. So from the dashboard, we're going to go and select customer portal right here. Select that, name it, make sure that it's in the latest version. And from here, we just configure it to what we want to include. So I want my users to be able to change plan. I want them to be able to resubscribe. I want to enable coupons again, security hash for when I'm ready to go live. And I only want to show active subscriptions. If a user decides to cancel, I want to ask for a cancellation reason. And I also want them to be able to cancel immediately. And from there, because we enabled this change plan option up here, we need to select 
the same Stripe service as our pricing page so that our users can view the same pricing when they're ready to upgrade or downgrade. So we're going to select that travel site service that we created in Stripe. I don't need to change anything on this plan change settings. Don't need a features list. And for our checkout settings, I want to deselect this name on card. And we are good to add some CSS again. Copy the short code. And from here, you want to add another short code block. Paste that code in, apply, and update. Now let's preview. <clears throat> okay, awesome. So this works. But the reason why we are seeing a pricing page instead of a membership portal is because of the fact that we haven't subscribed to a plan yet. So let's just test out this entire app and make sure that it works. Okay, I'm gonna select a free plan, fill out the form. And awesome, it works. So as you can see, our users can now cancel their subscription, change plan, update their card, or download their invoices, all within one page without ever having to bug you. So now let's just make sure that this also works in Stripe. Let's go to customers. Awesome, you guys. And as we can see here, um, our travel info test email went through. Uh, this is a $0 subscription that has successfully been created. And actually, if we go into our users, we should be able to find this email. There we go. A subscription has been created in WordPress as well as Stripe, which means that we are ready to go live. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Until next time, everyone. Bye for now.